Okay, so the first step in this process to go and gather all of our foliage prefabs is to set up a couple of uh, file pattern nodes inside of our top network. And then what we want to do is we want to uh, merge them all together and put them into a single partition so we can work on all the files all at once. Okay, so let's take a look at how that is done inside of Houdini. All right, so here we are back in Houdini. And what I want to do is I want to jump into the top network that we're working on here. All right. And then we're going to jump into that guy right there. And I'm going to set up a couple of nodes here. All right, well, let's, let's just start with one just for to make this easy and simple to, to understand. So what I'm going to do is uh, drop down a file pattern node. And this is going to get uh, trees, basically. So we're going to use this file pattern node to go out and look for trees at a specific path. Now this path needs to point to our Unity project and our trees folder. Because what I want to do is I want to look for everything that is a prefab underneath this particular folder. Okay, so we can start here. We can actually go and get this particular path right here. And we can go back into Houdini. And we can just pump this into our glob pattern right here. All right. So if we do that. But what we need to do is we actually need the full path. Okay, so we need the, the path all the way uh, from our C drive. Okay, so I'm going to go back into Unity. And I'm actually just going to say show and explore up here. And we are going to get that folder. So what I'm going to do is copy that path, that whole path right there. And I'm really doing this just to test this out, just so I can show you guys uh, what the result is going to be. All right, so I'm just going to make these guys all forward slashes here, uh, for just for now. Okay. And just a couple more here. And we'll be good to go. So once we get finished with this, what we need to do is we need to say that we want to find everything that is a prefab. All right. And to do that, we can utilize a wildcard uh, symbol. So we're going to do wildcard dot prefab like so. And what this will do is it'll actually go and find every single file. All right. Just with a single pattern right here. OK, it'll go and find every single one of those trees. So if I were to right click on this node and just say cook selected. You can see that we didn't get anything, which is odd, and that is because let's. So one thing what we can do to debug this, right? Um, and I, I see the errors right now, but it's not overly obvious. So if I were to actually click this, you can see that it's actually looking inside of this folder. And what we really want to do is look inside of the trees folder. All right, so I, I missed one folder, so I just need to put in uh, trees right there forward slash uh, prefab. So that should take me into the trees folder now. All right, there we go. All right, so then what I can do is say cook selected, and you can see I get five work items here. All right, and each one of these work items has one of those tree prefabs in it. Very cool. So we're dynamically going and we're finding all the files. So this means that you can go inside of Unity now and just keep adding more trees to your tree folder right here, and then recook, and you'll automatically get all those new trees scattered onto your train. All right, so we're creating a little bit more of a dynamic process. All right, we can also um, turn this off. We can also say that we just want everything in a single uh, work item. So let's go and uh, dirty and cook the selected node here. And you can see that we get just a single work item with all of our trees. Very cool. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that because we don't really need them to be individual work items. And, and honestly, you can keep it, you know, unlocked or checked. All right. So we can say dirty and cook and we get more work items or one work item per file. But then if we do that, we get just the one. All right. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And so what I want to do now is I actually want to duplicate this node. So I'm just going to do an alt left mouse click and drag. And what we want to do now is get the bushes or rocks. Let's get the rocks now. All right. So all I need to do now that we've got this set up is I just need to change this to rocks, right? Because inside of Unity over here, we have a folder called rocks. And again, it's going to work the same way. If you keep adding more rock prefabs to this particular folder, they'll show up in your latest cook when you cook your top network. All right, so let's roll through this and cook this guy. All right, so there we go. So now we got all of our rocks. Very cool. And then let's do that. Same thing for the bushes over here. So we're going to say get bushes. And we'll just change this out to bushes. 
All right, and I believe that's the correct folder name. Yep, there we go. All right, so then we're going to cook this node. And now we have all the bush prefabs. Super cool. All right, so just like that, we now have all of our files gathered up. And so what I want to do is I actually want to put this into a single node. All right. And to do that, we need to drop down a merge node. Okay. Cause I want to merge all these files together. All right. And I want to basically write out all of this data to a CSV file. So I want to write out all these paths to a CSV file that we can use uh, when we go and actually instantiate the, the foliage. So let's just select all these nodes and let's just pump it into that merge node. All right. And we will cook this node. And then you can see right here, we have three work items. And in each one of those work items, we have all of our prefabs for each. Now I actually want them all in a single bucket. All right. And to do this, we're going to utilize a wait for all node. So this is a way to partition all of it into a single bucket of information. So let's, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to drop down a wait for all node and just pump that in there. All right. We're going to say dirty and cook selected. And look at that. We've just merged all of our data into a single partitioned work item. We have all of our prefab files now in one work item that we can utilize in a CSV file. Okay. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you guys there in this particular lecture. And in the next lecture, we're going to get it all written out to a CSV file. Thanks so much.